It's Good Friday today, the day of crucifixion. And we reflect for a while on the experience of the Roman centurion, the man who stood and watched as Jesus died. And so let us begin our thoughts in prayer. Let us pray. Father, the centurion watched with troubled amazement as your son hung dying. And as he watched the agonies, his understanding of Jesus' identity was transformed. Today, as once again we contemplate the Saviour of the world dying on a cross, help us to find words that are bold and true and use them to testify clearly to people around us that Jesus is indeed the Son of God. It is in his name that we pray and for his glory. Amen. The Centurion. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. A few questions for you in relation to that passage. The first one, what was a centurion? And the second question, why do you think a Roman centurion was there at the foot of the cross as Jesus died? And lastly, what do you think might be the significance of the centurion's confession in the Gospel of Mark? May you know today the assurance of forgiveness that is made possible through the sacrifice of Christ. Go forth in hope and anticipation of the ultimate victory that comes with Easter. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.